Hi, my name is Margaret Ikape. I'm an astronomer at the University of Toronto. I studied the period of time in the universe when the first stars lit up and how the universe transitioned from darkness to light. This period of time is called the Epoch of Reionization. On a clear night, you can see hundreds or perhaps thousands of stars in the night sky with your naked eye. But these stars haven't always been there. According to our current understanding of cosmology, the universe went through a period of darkness for a very long time. That is, there were no stars in the universe. The first stars that formed in the universe probably came into existence about a hundred million years after the Big Bang. It is generally accepted today that the universe began in an explosion-like event called the Big Bang. The universe used to be unimaginably hotter and denser than it is today. And as the universe expanded and cooled, the elementary particles that make up the physical content of the universe began to form. And as the universe continued to expand and cool, these particles could come together and form clumps. The universe continued to expand and cool, and more and more of these clumps could come together to form dense objects. And when the cores of these dense objects became hot enough that nuclear fusion could begin in, inside of them, the four stars were born. We believe that the first stars were very different from the stars we have today. They were likely very massive, very bright, and they burned through their fuel very quickly. And also, we think that these very first stars contained only hydrogen and helium, because that's the only thing that was in the universe at the time. The first stars were really massive. That means they had an enormous amount of hydrogen in their cores for nuclear fusion. The rate at which they consumed this fuel was greater, so they died away quickly. For us to study these first stars, we have to look back into the distant past of the universe, and that's really not an easy thing to do right now. But with telescopes like JWST coming on board, we hope to have evidence of these first stars in the near future. As the first stars burned, they gave off ionizing radiation that caused the transition from a cloudy, non-transparent, neutral universe to a transparent, ionized universe. These stars produced and dispersed the very first heavy elements, paving the way for solar systems like ours to be made. That is, they produced inside of them the elements that we see all around us today, the elements that the planets and the stars and the people and tables and everything around us is made from today.